To curb the spread of the coronavirus, the federal government through the Nigeria Customs Service will have to put a permanent ban on the importation of second-hand clothes, popularly called Okarika. 24-hour surveillance is also necessary in all ports in the country. These were the position of lawmakers who spoke to TV360 in Abuja on ways to contain the spread of the virus in Nigeria. The lawmakers believe importation of fairly used clothes from China should be checked to avoid the transmission of the virus to the end users of the clothes in the country. Fairly used clothes is one of the items on the prohibition list approved by the federal government, but the dresses still find their way into the country through smuggling and bribery. We need to put in more measures, especially our entry points, uh, the airport, the seaports, uh, the land borders, and everywhere where you know, people from uh, especially countries that already have this in a very uh, worrisome you know, dimension could come into the country. This is one area that we need to work on. So I think to some extent there is a, there's preparation, but it's never, it's never enough, especially in matters like this. If Nigerians are using second-hand clothing, they are, uh, generally second-hand clothing have been banned from our tariff. What we are seeing there is smuggling. The ones who are seen is smuggling, and they are still smuggling it massively through on the port. The other time, the uh, Senate committee went there, House committee went there. They sent out a note of warning to the nation, and it was ignored. A lot of investigations have been done, and the containers are there, including the ones we said it would not come to the country. And if I, they allow it, Within some weeks, the whole thing are distributed to the whole market, and you see that things will be rough for the country. It has been banned before for a long time. Nigerians, does, Nigerians do not need second clothing. 